Hey guys, how's it going? In the previous video, we have created a simple Flask server with the help of Flask RESTful and also Flask SQL Alchemy. So now what we're going to do is we are going to extend the functionalities inside our REST API. In our post resource, we have created the get method, which allows us to fetch all of our post data. And here we also have the post method, uh, which allows us to create a new post. So now, what we're going to do, I think I want to change this post resource name into posts right here. And we also need to change it right here. So uh, because we are fetching all of our posts, then we need to uh, pluralize this uh, resource. So now we can create a new resource which called class post resource. And here we say a resource and we define the get method. And here we also want to accept a parameter which is our primary key and the parameter is basically the uh, id of our post data so now we can say return post schema and here we are fetching the post which uh oh i'm sorry with dump first and here we uh, fetch the post data by running post dot query dot get or 404 and our primary key so this get or 404 function uh, is returning the post data but if the data doesn't exist it will throw a 404 error to the client so now we can register our post resource uh, by running api dot add resource and here we can say uh, post resource and we define the endpoint which is post and here we are going to add a dynamic route so we say int pk like this so now we are translating this uh, primary key into a integer so if we fetch slash post slash one like this so we get the pk value is equal to one uh, and if we two then it will go to and so on so here uh, we use this one and now we can run the server by running python main.py and yeah the server is running now we can go to our postman and we can say localhost 5000 and we can say post and one so here if we hit send and we get no response and I believe our server has an error. Ah, I see. This is uh, 5,000 instead of 4,000. And if we hit send, and yeah, we get our post data. So uh, if we go to a post like this, so we will fetch all of our posts. And uh, if we hit send, now we can see we have two post which have the id1 and id2 so now if we go to uh, post slash 2 now we get the second post so yeah we successfully uh, get a single post now we can add an update functionality uh, by creating the dev patch and patch is basically uh, to patch or to update a single record and here we get also the primary key and now we are going to first uh, get the data by running data and request dot JSON and now we are fetching the post by running post dot I'm sorry yeah post dot query dot get or 404 and we pass the primary key so now we all uh, so now we get the uh, post data and here we want to add some conditional so if the title is exist inside the data now we want to update the uh, data the title data inside our post record and we can say data the title and here we also want to check uh, the content in data and we say post dot content equal to data content like this so now we are um, updating the post object 
And now what we're going to do is we are going to uh, save our changes inside our database. So now if we hit post, I'm sorry, if we hit db dot session dot commit and we want to return the post, I'm sorry, we want to return the post schema and dump because we want to dump it first before we return it and we can say post. Now if we hit save and we go to our postman again and we set it to patch and here we define the body uh, it should be JSON and we say title uh, maybe learn uh, I want to change the uh, learn flask to maybe learn Django and the content should be updated content like this so now if we hit send we can see that our post is successfully updated so if we uh, check by running a uh, get request and we hit send now we can see the content is already updated so yeah it's cool now we are going to implement the delete method so now we can say uh, def delete and we also get the primary key and now uh, we are also fetching the post rec record and we say query dot get or 404 primary key and now we are going to delete this uh, post data so here we're going to say db.session.delete and post and we also want to commit the uh, changes so here we say commit and now we want to return uh, maybe true just like this or maybe it's a better idea if we returning a empty content just like this so we are returning nothing uh, basically but it still count as a success so now if we uh, use delete method uh, to our second post now we hit send and we get an empty result and if we go to our post and get we hit send and now we only have one post so that is working okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching